Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or whoever stopped by. Welcome to your September reading or the next four weeks whenever you're listening to this. Let's see what's going on in September. We have the power of nine that we're working with all month, which is completion, healing, growing spiritually, higher mind perspective, wisdom, manifestations. We have the new moon in Virgo, September 6th or 7th, depending on where you're at, which is going to bring in new, fresh energy. We're going to tune into what that, what's that, is that doing for you? What is that alignment doing for you, this new moon? What new beginnings are manifesting for you in life and in your sacred love, divine partnership? And then we have the full moon in Pisces on September 20th that's going to balance order and chaos. It's time to use your imagination, feel into your emotional body, daydream more, dream bigger, Taurus. Dream, dream again. And if you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, you'll be you know, much more affected by this full moon. And it's really dreamy and romantic and beautiful and wise. So let's see what the main energies are for you, Taurus. Oh, those just came right out. Unfoldment. It's the unfoldment of who you are the unfoldment of your dreams, what's been cloudy and maybe confusing, the sun is coming out to give you clarity. You're like the lotus flower from, you know, all the trauma and stress and chaos and challenge that you've been through has really helped you grow. And now it's like you're rising up out of the mucky water and you're just this gorgeous version of you because you are Taurus. And the shaman energy is with you, ancient healing wisdom. Yeah, I feel like you are wise. And you're really opening up to your healing powers, the wisdom of your ancestors. You may be seeking out a shaman for healing or interested in learning about shamanism and this ancient healing. Your ancestors are with you, helping you heal, sharing information with you is what I feel. And wow, something about childhood and innocence coming back. An innocence and love, being cleansed and refreshed, healing any childhood wounds. Something about children, if you have children or you're having children. What I feel like is happening, Taurus, is your ancestors are coming in and saying, we're helping you heal and let go of the past. And it's time for you to open up to this new energy in life, a divine innocence again, something that's being healed from your childhood or a childhood wish and dream coming true. It could be an, an ancestor that you knew when you were a child that has crossed over this with you or that is still alive. If they're, if they're still alive and you can talk with them, a grandparent, a great grandparent, ooh, I would definitely do that. I would learn from them and be innocent like a child and just listen to that wisdom. I feel like that's what spirit wants you to do. Just be innocent like a child and just pay attention to the wisdom of mother earth, of father sky, of your emotional body, of your ancestors. Ooh, yes, and the fire is just burning inside of you and it's time to unleash the beast taurus go after your passionate desires your creative projects the love of your life go after it it's like you're coming into this you're it's like this rebirth this this new version of yourself where you're, you're clear and you're healed and you're in your divinity and then you have all this creativity and fire all this spiritual fire burning inside of you and it's just pushing you forward on fire for life on fire for your love for your lover i mean serious passion there and then look it's ancestors generations yeah you're you're part of the healing process of generations upon generations that's what they want to tell you that you're here to do that so let that fire ignite inside of you taurus Ooh, i'm excited to dive in and see what the Virgo new moon is bringing in for you what new beginnings are happening for taurus what's being healed Oh my God, then the Ten of Pentacles comes out. Wow, Taurus. Abundance, prosperity, legacy, leaving your mark on the world, ancestral cycles, family business. You are healers. You come from a long line of ancient healers. Helping heal children, bringing people together. You're very loyal. 
and this sacred love connection that you have or that's coming in for you is it. It is your destiny. And the two of you are both pure in divine light, like an innocent child. Do you see that? Both of you, your inner children just giggle with delight when you connect. When you're with this person, you just feel so good. And so I'm just at peace. And in really building something that's gonna help future generations. That's what, I feel like that's what your ancestors are saying. You're here to do this. It's you. We chose you, Taurus. We choose you. So some kind of change, abundance coming in here. It could be it could be inheritance. It could, it could be a family business. Oh, and definitely about love. Look what the Virgo new moon is bringing in for you, bro. Man. Oh, a picnic. Our picnic's so nice. It looks like there's wine and maybe there's some grapes. There's a love note. Some kind of romantic offer is coming in your way. Wow. And it's just like, you feel so good, Taurus. Like so free emotionally. Just you're free of whatever has been holding you back. Whatever's been gripping you. It's like you're free. And look at all this abundance. Like, wow, personal dreams and wishes coming true and perhaps you're getting some kind of offer from this masculine or you are the masculine and you're making this offer to the feminine and it's just, it's like, it's happy times. A path you will love, just, I mean, just wow. And then there's abundance being manifested. You know, it's like you've been getting the work done, you've been f focusing on a lot on like studies and um, getting things done and sort of the mundane aspects of life and spirits asking you to refocus and put effort into yourself, put effort into love, put effort into healing. Uh, perhaps you're going on a healer's path here with the Tibetan singing bowls and you know, this, this legacy energy and helping heal children, the shaman energy, that's definitely strong with you Taurus. Reach out to me for an energy healing. That would be a great experience for you if you've never had that. But this is about paying attention to the details and paying attention to yourself and loving yourself. It's the green candle of the heart chakra. And look at all this cup energy and then all this abundant pentacle energy. This is what the Virgo new moon is bringing in. Well, thank you, Virgo new moon for Taurus. And what about the full moon in Pisces? What, what is that doing for you? helping you grow your psychic gifts. Pisces is the last sign in the zodiac. It's very wise. You are wise counsel, seeking wise counsel. Going within for your answers is a very wise choice. Your intuition, your psychic gifts are growing and expanding during this time. New activations, light body activations coming in. Wisdom, see that ancient healing wisdom. I, I I'm feeling very strong that there, uh, somebody is listening is really resonated with the healer's path. Going down this path, you have great ideas for this, of how to build this. Uh, something about that. So trust your intuition on whatever this is. Your finances are being healed. This is the card of having it all. So trust your intuition on this. Whatever this is, whatever work you do, by bringing love into it and healing energy into it, you're going to be even more successful. And look, here's the childhood innocent six of cups. It's the same man with the dog, okay? The masculine, growing, healing from childhood. Healing some kind of childhood wound. The feminine can be doing the same thing, so take that as that resonates. But this is the same energy with the same dog. So the, the masculine may literally have a dog. And um, you're gonna grow together. This, this, this path that you're on, you're gonna grow in love. There's lots of unconditional love. Trust that, loyalty. And there's this new spark. Yeah, that's that fire, that passion, the spark. The Pisces full moon is going to bring in this new spark, this new path, this opportunity to do something you love. All this creative energy moving through you. Look, it's very similar. Look at this. Nine of cups and page of wands. It's like, I mean, look at that. It's very similar energy here. It could be a masculine that you knew in childhood or a past life with the six of cups coming in and it just feels so familiar and so good. See, when you talk, it's like, you know, time has passed. You've known each other forever. 
That's what I'm feeling. But there's a new spark and a new path, a new idea that's coming in from the divine that you're really going to love and it's just going to give you this new energy. And look at this, come on. Talk about a new path and then this is the path. Yeah. There's a new path opening. You're going to travel. You're going to relocate. You're doing something different. You may be switching jobs, going on a new journey. Two of Wands, to me, speaks of divine partner, sacred union, twin flame mission work. And same with Ten of Pentacles, so something about that, something about helping humanity, humanitarian work, but just going down this new path, and it's a beautiful new path. Trust your intuition here. What is working to manifest for Taurus during this time? So the, the new moon in Virgo is really bringing in this um, stability and love, wish fulfillment, uh, giving you the opportunity to focus on yourself and focus on your legacy in this uh, healing. And the Pisces is bringing in this intuition, the psychic gifts, this new path opening. So what's working to manifest on this new path then, spirit for Taurus, highest and best? Look at that. Abundance. Opportunity in the material world. I feel like you're moving on. You're doing something different. You're leveling up. There's something happening here. An offer, an opportunity that is very grounded and very stable. And it may seem like it took forever to get here, right? This opportunity with your lover, I feel. It took forever, but you're finally able to move forward in the material world. What else is going on with sacred love then on this path? Coming out of the stalemate. If you've been stuck, if you've been at a distance, if you haven't heard from this person, if you haven't been communicating, whatever this is, it's coming out of the stalemate. There's balance here. Somebody's coming out of the stalemate and communicating. I've grown a lot. I've matured. I'm taking charge, baby. I've got my ego in check. I'm on fire with all this passion. See this passion energy? I mean, it's wow. Put that right there. This masculine, your sacred masculine is on fire. Very attractive masculine. Very attracted to you, feminines. And it's just like, it's so, it's such happy times. Taking charge. This can be you stepping into your power. Being a leader leveling up in your job i mean it's this page of wands this new path i mean wow you're in charge and this is the masculine saying i'm coming i'm making this offer i want to come out of the stalemate i want to move forward i'm ready i've done the work yes there is communication coming in from your sacred lover about this new path, this opportunity, and it's like you're it's like you're running. Okay, let's go. It's go time. Whatever this is that you've been focused, you've been waiting for, you've been manifesting, opportunity is knocking on your door during this time period, and it's time to take charge, come out of any kind of stalemate, being stuck, take off the blinders. It's go time, baby, and it's fast movement forward. The communication is swift. It comes in and you're on the move. That's, that's what I'm feeling. And look at this. This is the key to it all, Taurus. Get out of your head. Release yourself from any fear, self-imposed entrapment. You see how spirits try to help take off the blindfold? You're not really trapped. You have the power to overcome this. You are in charge. Call your power back now. Take charge of this now. And that's what I feel like is happening. You, your person, someone's taking charge here. Don't feed into those fears because you're almost there. Look at this. Don't feed into those fears. That's a false reality. You're almost there. You have the strength and stamina and it's the, it's, it's the path. It's the path to a higher level of commitment. It's the path to your new home. It's your new path in the material world. And it's, it's beautiful. Wow. So there is a brand new path opening for you and it's like spirit saying when you get that call when this happens run go this is it this is the path you'll know trust your intuition and your final message here taurus with the celebrations of love deck that i got as a gift from a taurus and i know you're going to listen to this so thank you <laughs> again caring gaia yeah things are changing it's a whole new world for you Mother Earth cares for you. Care for yourself. It's like you being that earth angel, that healer, that shaman. Wow. Mother Earth is speaking to you. Please come commune with me, Taurus. I have messages for you. 
This image celebrates the divine feminine aspect in all creation. Whether you call her Earth Mother, Gaia, Mary, the Blessed Mother, or Goddess, her energy is universal. Imagine that she has a special gift for you contained in the single cell orb that she holds. Connect with the Divine Feminine. Honor a mother today, whether she is physically here or passed on. She can be a friend, a relative, or a complete stranger. Give a gift of a rose, a prayer, a smile, or a kind word. The important part is it is given with love, appreciation, and gratitude for the feminine in all. Special message. You are being inspired to honor your feminine side, be you a man or a woman. Allow yourself to extend heartfelt nurturing and caring to someone or something in your life. And that can include yourself. I'm wishing you all many blessings.